Tonight on News for Jax at 6, family, friends and community leaders came together to pay their final respects to a civil rights leader here in Jacksonville. We will not be the same without you, my brother. But until we meet again, and we will, we will keep doing the work. Ben Frazier died two weeks ago after a nine-month battle with cancer. He was 73 years old. Hundreds of people who knew the Jacksonville native filled into the church to celebrate his life and his work. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar was at his funeral today and shows us how he's being remembered. Trailblazer, a drum major for justice, a voice for the voiceless. That is how Ben Frazier is being remembered. Hundreds of people who knew the civil rights advocate filled into the Bethel Church to celebrate his life and his work. His childhood friends, Ed Dawkins and Joe Ross, who co-founded the Northside Coalition with Frazier, knew their friend had wisdom, courage, and passion. Ben, ben enlightened me to the fact that a small group of people determined to stand up and speak out can make a difference. You know, God gave him a melodious, resonating voice. And I said, Ben, use your voice. And he used his voice. Ben Frazier was a civil rights advocate who established the Northside Coalition in 2016. He also made history when he became the first African-American to anchor a major news show in Jacksonville. That was back in 1979, and it was right here on Channel 4. Frazier won several journalism awards, including Emmys, as well as awards for his work to fight for civil rights and racial equality. Last year, Frazier went to Switzerland to speak to the United Nations Committee to Eliminate Racial Discrimination. Frazier criticized Governor Ron DeSantis and Florida lawmakers for an anti-riot bill created following George Floyd's death, saying the new law restricted free speech. Those in attendance, including Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan, acknowledged Frazier was willing to get into good trouble. Remove the Confederate monument. Take them down. Remove the Confederate monument. Take them down. Even if that meant getting arrested for what he believed in. Ben also knew, though, the truth about love. It's not some sanitized fairy tale. It requires action. He moved with the freedom of a man who had taken a fierce moral inventory and honesty about himself that only those who have been to the lowest places find the courage to access. Ben had that courage, and he challenged us all to find it as well. Stubborn, <laughs> hard-headed, <laughs> um, but that's the determination part of it that um, he wasn't going to give up, not give in. God granted him the serenity to accept things he couldn't change, gave him the courage, courage to change the things that he could, get those statutes down. You can't disrespect us anymore. Frazier, unapologetic, fearless, and direct. But those in this sanctuary paying tribute to Frazier, saying they will keep at least one promise. We will continue to do good work and continue to get into good trouble. As they say, the work Frazier started will go on. Frazier leaves behind a son, a daughter, and four grandchildren. Reporting outside of the Bethel Church, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.